How do you change your email address in Shopify so that your contact form and customer notifications are sent from a different email address from the one you set up with your store? Well, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So let's get started. Right, so to change your Shopify email address, what you want to do is go into your Shopify dashboard and we're going to go into settings. And you'll see under the store details heading here, there's a store email address. Now, this is the email address that Shopify uses to contact you. So for things like billing and things like that, this is the email they'll use. But what we're going to look at is changing the customer email. So basically the email that you use to connect with your customers. And this is done under notifications. So if you go down here to notifications, you'll see there's a sender email address here and simply delete this email and enter whichever email you want to use. Once you've entered your email address, simply click on save and Shopify will send you an email to verify the new email address. And this will be sent to the email that you've just entered. So go into that email account, verify it, and then that's updated in Shopify. So that's how you change your customer facing email address in Shopify. But before you click off this video, there is an issue you may run into. Due to some recent changes with the way email work in terms of verification for email addresses. And this may be that the customer basically emails that you're getting, things like order notifications, might not be coming from the email address you just entered. They may be coming from a Shopify email address. And the reason this might be happening is because you don't have what's called a DMARC record set up for your email on your basically your domain name. Now, in order to do this, you're gonna need to do it through your domain name registrar to set up this record. And if you need to do this, I'd recommend contacting whoever you have your domain name with, contact in their support and asking how you set this record up because they all have different dashboards and interfaces and they'll be able to guide you basically step by step how to set this DMARC record up. That's quite a mouthful to try and say. But once you've done this, once you've set this record up, it should be a case that your customer facing emails are now coming from the email address you set up like I showed you earlier in this video. So I hope this video was helpful. If it is, dropping a like on it would be absolutely awesome because it really does help the channel out. So thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one.